watching KITV4 Morning News. The dog is back and he's bringing a bigger bite. Hawaii's own bounty hunter, Dog Chapman, his wife Beth, and the whole company are kicking off a new TV series. And here to tell us more about it is the dog himself, live from Los Angeles, along with Beth. Aloha and good morning to both of you. Aloha, Aloha. good morning. So tell us about this we new... We can't wait to come home. Oh, <laughs> are you sure? Well, yeah, we miss you. We, we miss can't wait you. to come home. Uh, well, tell yeah. us what you're doing in L.A. Well, right now we're just finishing up the last of the episodes that we have for the new show for Dog and Beth on the Hunt. We have been all across the country. We have this great, big, beautiful tour bus that takes us from state to state. We've been to Nevada and Michigan, California, Oklahoma. We went to New Mexico. We've just been all over the place, hunting down bad guys all over the country. So it's actually a, a new and exciting show. It's an hour long, so it's double the action. We catch a lot more guys in one episode, so it's a lot more fun. And the best part is we're not arresting our neighbors, so that's the best part. <laughs> I know. Well, we heard part. funny stories of people running away from you guys while you're in Hawaii, even if they weren't suspects. But what is it like uh, taking yeah. your show? You know, you were here in the islands. We used to follow you guys everywhere you went, and, and now you're on the mainland. What's the difference? <laughs> well, the difference is they're easier to catch on the mainland because uh, Hawaii has more family, more morality, more... You know, we're so lucky we live in Hawaii. Just to hear your voices makes me cry. Aww. <laughs> uh, well, we definitely miss you. Well, we kind of wanted to get maybe some insight and in what's going through your mind as they do this manhunt in Boston. Um, what's, what's, what are you thinking, then? And are they going about it the right way? Well, I think they're going about it the right way, probably the only way they can. And, of course, you know, we're who we are. We wish we were right there. And yet again, you know, it's kind of above our heads a little bit but it's they've a done, sad they've it's done sad. Some, they've done some really good things they shut down the city they um, shut down cell service so that other people shouldn't be using their cell phones so that in case the perps do start using phone service they're going to be able to ping them easily they're going door to door they've got that they've got that place pretty locked down so i don't think there's anything more that you could do other than you know just urge the public that if they see these guys or anybody even looks like these guys to call in right away it's so serious but it's so great when americans band together like this and they and they have a common goal and everybody's looking for the same guy you get them caught a lot quicker and there's so much going on in boston right now and you guys uh, have hunted for suspects before tell us what goes through your mind as, as you're trying to comb through neighborhoods to look for people well you know you you think that he's around every corner for one thing and then you think you see him when it's actually not him and you constantly wonder is this the guy that you know takes my life today or do I maybe have to take his you know this is uh, constantly your your adrenaline is at its peak performance you trust no one you trust no one except for your brothers and sisters in law enforcement and you know it is uh, this is incredible we, it, we don't scary. do it yeah. at this volume at this kind of criminal every day but almost on an everyday basis you know, as you'll see, there's a lot of SUVs in this uh, out hunting him right now. So I would not ever want to be this guy. No. Well, when are you going to be coming home? On to a different subject now. When will you guys be coming back? And Hawaii is still home for you? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Well, uh, uh, <laughs> Hawaii is still home for us. We have a yeah. place in Castle Rock that we spend a month or two in the summer, but Hawaii is, is our where home. our children are, the, our little ones at home still. And we're happy to be spending the premiere at home. You know, we're going to spend the premiere with our friends and our family and get off the road for a while. We've been on the road for a long time. 19 days we've, flat. This time, but we've we filmed basically this whole series in the last four months. So what's so, the first thing uh, that you're going to want to uh, eat, Dog and Beth, and uh, what, what do you want to see when you get home? I want to see the ocean and eat some sushi and <laughs> some spam and I want to drink some tea and I want to hear the words I love you and aloha instead of you know what you and I want to <laughs> What about you Beth what do you want to hear What do you want to eat and pog. what do you want to see Just pog that's all I want just pog <laughs> and I I want to hear I want to hear I don't want to hear what does that kind mean <laughs> yeah. what is pow do you have to get shots to spray when you go to Hawaii? Do you need shots to go to Hawaii? Oh yeah, my those gosh. are we're 
we're a little over those questions, so we want to come home. <laughs> well, terrific. And so we look forward to seeing your show. Thank you. Thank Where can you. we Sundays. check it out? Yes. This Sunday. This All Sunday. right. Sunday. Thank you very much. All right, Doug Aloha. and Beth, great to see you. Aloha. Aloha. We'll see you back here soon. Aloha. Welcome Aloha. back to the sunshine. And to see this interview again, just head to the top video section of our website, kitv.com. 620 right now. We'll be right back.